Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2. Today, we're going to be doing 3.30, at least, maybe even the next mission after it. Um, but, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's see what ship we want to use. Um, hmm, maybe the battle carrier and then load it up with interceptors. We could do that. Because this one has a lot of planes, and I kind of just want to keep the planes off of me so I can do, uh, do what I need to do and just kill the buildings um, carefully. I don't want to have, like, bombers on here going around and bombing everything. Because that would be really bad. We've already got the duck interceptors and a couple of helicopters. So, yeah, let's try this with the battle carrier. Um, should go pretty smoothly, all things considered. So, yeah. Let's do this. <sighs> I had to just had to yawn after I started recording and not, you know, a minute ago, right? Go figure. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Uh, launch. Get our 61 centimeter guns ready. And where are these guys at? Chaff. Uh huh. Man, it feels good to have big old cannons again. Been using AGS guns and and those Gatling guns so much lately that I almost forgot what it felt like to have big old cannons for a change. Um, okay, let's see. There is a secret base over there that I want to go and get the parts crate out of, even though I'm pretty sure we already have the treasure. Kill this submarine here. Fire off some more chaff. Alright. I kind of hope he doesn't drop a crate. There we go. So my helicopter should go. Yeah, good. He's going for the, he, he's going for the, uh, the treasure over there. So, let's see. Azrock. I need to fire some chaff. There we go. Hello, all of you. Oh, that one is still alive. There we go. Just slow down so I can actually sit here for a second and kill these guys. Flare. Alright, cool. Fun's crate over here. Two two funds crates and a parts crate. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, that submarine is still alive. How many submarines are down there? Oh, there's one more way down there, too. Dang it. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and stop for a second here. We need to kill that battery and that radar. Good. Didn't even hit anything else. Um, and that radar and... No, not the power line. The battery. Okay, good. <laughs> it did the glitch thing, which in this in this one instance actually helped me out. Uh, are those two more fun crates there? They are. Nice. <clears throat> That's the best thing about playing missions with tons and tons of aircraft is uh, you get a bunch of crates out of it, or fun crates specifically. But give me that one. Give me that one. Got it. Um, okay, so I definitely want to kill that airfield. And I think there's just a couple of structures over here. Let's see, yeah, one radar and one battery. There we go. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have the bow jet thruster on here. That will help out, for sure. You and you. I want to go for that other funds crate there. Since I'm right next to it. There we go. Doing what I can to get rid of these submarines. Uh, that one, that one. Get back to the gun. Kill that radar. Yep. Oh, I hit the power plant behind it. Oh well. It will. Uh, let's see. There's nothing in that area there. There's an airfield over there that I would like very much to kill. I think I ended up hitting the building next to it, but, you know, not much I can do about that. Let's see, so I've got, yeah, alright, there's a submarine right over here somewhere. Yep, you, um, we got some buildings here, battery, radar, there's another radar right there, and that one. I think that's it. Yes, cool. Stop, reverse, and... Oh, I thought there were going to be some PTs here. 
Mission accomplished, go back. Maybe they are if you wait a second. I was pretty sure there was like more stuff that happens. It is EL2, so I could be, you know, wrong in that regard, but nah, I don't know anymore. Um, the submarines are another objective. Maybe I have to kill enough submarines first to get the other side objectives to come up. Because I thought that there was like a group of PTs that spawned right there, and then some battleships that spawned further south. I could be mistaken, but I, I don't remember, honestly. Let's see, so we're going to kill this submarine, there's one more off to the port side, and then there's one more on the other side of this uh, big old Enemy island here. Secondary objective complete. Submarines destroyed. There must Secondary be one, there we go. There we go. See, that's what I was thinking of. So we did have to sink the submarine first. Or complete that objective, at least. Enemy ship sunk. Hello, battleships. Y'all think you got a chance against this? These big old guns on here? What are these, 24-inch guns? <laughs> oh boy. Flare, chaff. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Oh look, PT boats. Yeah, so this is definitely a little different than the uh, EL-1 version of the mission. <sighs> Why do I always get to start yawning after I start recording? <laughs> I don't understand that. Seems like it happens every time. Come back here! Stubborn little PT boats. Alright. Let's spin this thing around. What's annoying, too, is that they don't drop survivors, so I'm not even getting much out of this. I just have to do it for the S-Rank. Turn around. Oh, right, uh, R2, please. <laughs> Funds. Ooh, parts crate. We still have all of our uh, helicopters, which is nice. Our interceptors aren't helping us very much anymore, but, you know, there's not much, not much they can do about that at this point. I didn't want bombers, because I didn't want the bombers killing all the buildings, um... You know, and, and failing the mission for us. Ooh, fun's great. I can go over that. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Yeah, there we go. Now I turn back to the port side. Where are these little PT boats at? I want to hit the lead boat so the rest of them stop moving for me. Kill it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Utter devastation amongst all those PT boats. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, look, ammo. Good timing. Gonna need that. Well, uh, that one group of PTs off to the port side got split up a little bit there. Uh, where are you? There you are. Hey, buddy. How would you like some 24 inch guns in your face? Oh, blind fired that one, but I still got him directly. Full speed ahead. Give me these parts crates. Is this the last group of PTs? I think it is. Then I think we can actually be done with this mission. Uh, there's one more. Oh, you're back there. Oh, he's still alive, too. Come on, now. Game. No, no targets in range. Are you kidding me? That reticle was blinking and everything. You knew it was there. Oh, give me that fun crate, and we're good. Withdraw. Yep. Let's leave the area. <clears throat> Ground forces begin their invasion. I guess our job is done for now. Uh, we'll stand by in the ocean as we check our progress. Can you really stay alert. Cool. Go ahead and get our S rank here. Claim our rewards. Ooh, a lot of money. 508,000 funds. Very cool. Uh, Alright, and no new parts for us.
and time to save. I wonder, I don't think our, our parts total will have changed at all. But, um, yeah, let's see. We're at 13.05. We were at 13.05 already. Yeah, this is definitely where it starts to slow down, and we're just doing missions to... Just doing missions at this point to get on to get through Werner's path, and uh, yeah, then we'll then we'll really be able to then we'll be able to get uh, you know get going on the actual completion aspect of things here. Destroy the enemy installations. Uh, failure condition player suck. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay. Oh yeah, this one around uh, Sicily. <laughs> I think I would like. To, we're gonna, like I said last episode, we're gonna ditch the cannons on this thing. Now, I wanna try something one more time because I couldn't seem to, when we were trying to do this with the carrier earlier in the series, I couldn't seem to just switch the design out um, for a different one. So, let's see, I wanna go back to my, I would like to go back to my 80 centimeter. Uh, design saved to the slot overwrite? No, no, no. I want to grab this one. Delete, close. Yeah, see, I can't seem to. Uh, I can't seem to just pull that design in here. So what I think I have to do is I think I have to scrap this. Scrap. Yep. And then I think I have to go to a new empty slot, uh, which I just made, obviously, right here and then grab the player design from that same menu. Uh, auto design, easy designs, right? No, um, blueprints. There we go. Let's see. Cool UQ 80 centimeter guns, that's the one. Yes, there we go, and it's back. So, huzzah. That's all I wanted. Oh, we better check the systems on here because it, I bet uh, I bet this was before I thought to put the bow jet thruster on. So, yeah. Oh, uh, we might even have Aegis on here, which again, we don't need for just the Azrox. EM Shield, Auto Camera Refiner Lay, E Tech Bow Jet. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're all set up. <laughs> good to go. Okay, to battle. Let's do this with the twin hole with the, the big ol' guns, because it's fun. I don't know. I mean, that's. <laughs> we haven't used the twin hole battleship a lot, and. It's just fun, so we'll let it we'll let it make it return for a little while. <laughs> the goal was to try and use a wider variety of ships, not necessarily to abandon battleships altogether. So And we've done pretty well at that. We've done we've done you know, we've been using even the destroyer up in up in these late missions here. Uh, on EL two, so on arguably the hardest path. So <laughs> It's totally doable. I never thought it wasn't doable. It's just, it's certainly, it's certainly harder. And I wouldn't even say it's hard, it's just harder. It's certainly harder than something like this, where you just have ridiculously oversized guns that kill everything in, like, one hit or two. Kind of like that. <laughs> and to me, this is just, this is just fun. Because it's just... Like, the idea of having cannons this big is insane. 80 centimeters, what's that? Roughly in the neighborhood of a 28-inch gun? Sorta-ish? Kinda? Parts crate. Flare. I'm gonna miss that fun crate, but oh well. Fire all the cannons! Yeah, y'all shouldn't have grouped up like that. That was your downfall. Alright, chaff, flare. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> AGS guns are good, but these are even better. And the reason AGS guns are really good is because they are almost as effective as these big old cannons, but they're tiny and, and much lighter, so you can put them on any ship rather than being restricted to a battleship. That's what really makes the AGS guns so good, is they're an equalizer between all the different classes of ships. They can allow literally any ship to become awesome just by having a few of them on there. Flare. 
Oh, I'm not gonna leave them alone at all. I'm gonna keep killing. Let's go back. Let's go back. We got a lot of killing left to do here. Uh huh. Parts crate. Funds crate. We're gonna get right up in that bay there and uh, get our other objective. On our way over here, I'm gonna try to kill that airbase if I can. Ah, uh, yep, got it. Nice. I just want to get in here and get that other objective to activate the um, kill, destroy enemy batteries one. Turn around. Turn around. And again. Alright, we're going to stop right here for a second. We're actually even going to reverse back in here. I want my high angles to be able to kill all the guns around um, Mount Vesuvius there. So we'll give them a second to do that. There we go. Now we leave. Um, Azrox at the ready. Got a few submarines out here. Got these ones. Didn't get that one yet. How many submarines are there? I assume like six or seven. Yeah. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Fun's right in front of me. Why, thank you. Chaff. Oh, those are torpedoes. Whoa. A lot of very fast torpedoes. I'm over here trying to forward thrust out of the way, but I don't have a forward thruster, of course. I wish I did have a forward thruster, but I'd rather have the bow jet thruster. Ow. Okay, relatively heavy damage. That wasn't like we're gonna die or anything. There's a parts crate there. There's a parts crate there. I want it. I'm just circling it, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. Flare. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> turn this giant thing around. Oh, really? I forgot that could happen. Like, fire can lead to an explosion, flooding can lead to engine damage. I always forget about that. It's so rare. It's it's really rare in this game. Does flooding not fix itself eventually? I thought it did. I was pretty sure hull breaches just went away on their own after a little while. Maybe not. Oh well. I can't even get mad at it because it's not like it's not like anywhere near as common as it ever was in Warship Gunner 1. <laughs> Prepare kit. Um, okay, we got an airfield down there. And we've got, uh, let's see, we've got some more ships off to the west, uh, which we will go deal with shortly. Where is the airfield? There it is. No, left, thank you. Nope, right, thank you. Nope, back, up, there you go. Hey, hey, hey. Hit the airfield. There you go. Alright, we're gonna let engagement mode deal with some of this stuff for just a second here. Then we're gonna head out to the northwest and deal with that last group of ships. And then we'll come back and strafe the shoreline and kill all the batteries. I'm trying to give my guns a second to kill everything that's already here. Like so. See, this is the speed you expect something like this to move, but, uh, nope. <laughs> we have it set up much better than that. Also, with these super big guns, I can kill these guys from all the way over here. Oh my gosh. It's a slaughter. That was amazing. Flare. <laughs> nice. That went even better than I expected. I thought I was going to have a hard time hitting most of them. And I sort of kind of did, but they were so close together that the spread of my shots was just kind of letting it happen all on its own there. Well, come on, guys. I already put up a flare. They started to all come towards me, and then they all stopped, even though I just fired a flare. Give me these crates. We're going to turn around here very, very slowly. I head back to Sicily. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that. A couple of big old parts crates there. Airborne Helicopters, you wanna attack. help me with these? 
two thumbs crates, two parts crates. Hopefully none of them sink. Am I faster than my helicopters? So I just tried to fire my guns over the mountain and hit the battery that is over there. So maybe I don't have to sail around over there. But we'll see here. I know there's one over there. I'm just trying to get it. There we go. Yep. Ta-da! There's exactly one battery over there, and we got it. Cool. Let's leave the area. Go ahead and head out of here. Uh -huh. And there we go. S rank. No surprise. Decent amount of money again. 295, 232. Alright, cool. Um, emergency village pump. So between last mission and this mission, we got about 800,000 funds, which means we could put that towards our duck uh, bomber and get that finished up. Save successful. Let's back out of here. 350 double headed giant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Somehow I always think his mission is like way later in the game, but it, you know, it's right here. It just seems like a late game enemy, you know? Such a ginormous thing, just seems like it'd be later. But, eh. Not that he's that hard to kill. He is that hard to kill on the PSP version. As I've mentioned before, they rebalanced a lot of the bosses in the PSP version, and he is way tougher in that. Most of the bosses are. Even Warblewind is not so easy on the PSP version. The PSP version. They really, they really adjusted a lot of the, a lot of the, um, you know, stats and everything. That's true for the parts that you use as well. Like auto reload, auto reload system gamma is nowhere near as good on the, uh, on the um, PSP version. And I did notice that we just finished Duck Bomber. So uh, as for what the heck we're gonna do now, we got two new systems, uh, two defense systems. I was hoping we would get our uh, get some new enigmas in here, but I guess not. Um, and then we got these lasers that are still taking their time. And they are pretty much done, so we'll finish them both. Like this. That gets to our plasma gun. Whoa, okay. Interesting. Big and heavy, but powerful and accurate. Okay, well, we'll get it started then. Um, yeah, alright. Uh, that's pretty much all the R&D we can do. What a surprise. So, um, that'll do it for this episode of Worship Gunner 2. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.